Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, time for some of that holiday positivity. Um, so people are going to see the title. They're going to put on some dislikes, boy. Dislike, dislike, dislike. They're going to jump in their sock accounts. They're dislike, dislike. They're going to write, fuck you. They're going to thumb up their own comment. Then they're going to log into their 25 other accounts. They're going to come in. They're going to have a convo with themselves. They're, oh yeah, I agree with you. WJ's a piece of shit. Then they're going to thumb up their own comments, boy. All of that shit there. You're going to get some tough guys in the comments. I'm a fucking badass because I hate Cena, man. Um, you know... If you like Cena, that goes against my way of life there. I'm a big fucking hard fucking bastard there. Um, but to be honest, I don't give a shit about these people. Dislike away. Do what you gotta do. Try to impress Bruce Blitz in my comment section there. Bruce Blitz rules! Fucking Buckethead Cena, man! Fuck boy Cena! Whatever the fuck that means there, but whatever. It's become official, folks. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you already know this, because I've been praising Cena here and there for maybe almost two years or something like this there. But here's how I feel when I see Big John Cena. I feel happy. I feel excited when I heard that John was coming back. I felt happy, excitement. I was laughing at his promo. I enjoyed it. I enjoy seeing Big John Cena. So it's official there. I have to admit it that I am officially a fan of John Cena. I'm not gonna wear a whole bunch of Cena merch and milk the shit out of that like Gemini or whatever the fuck there. I'm not gonna make a video to troll people. John Cena is better than Steve Austin. Not gonna do any of that shit. But it's official. I like John Cena. It is what it is. I'm not going to hide from that, nor am I going to deny that I disliked the man in the past, because let's face it there, most of us were sick and tired of Cena. There was a good enough period of time there, from like 2010, 9 to 2013 kind of deal there. It was almost impossible to like Cena because of the company. The company was not only PG, but it was motherfucking straight up G-rated at the time. You look at shows from that period and look at shows today, there's a big difference. Back then, they were going real hard to impress the children. They were straight up trying to turn it into a children's show there. And they had Cena. They were shoving him down our throat. They had Cena beat all of our favorites time and time and time again. Nobody else had a fucking chance to shine when somebody would start climbing or they were going to break the glass ceiling. The company would bring him down and shove Cena in our freaking faces, you know? So it was pretty fucking hard to like Cena back then, you know what I mean? A lot of vids that I made, you know, I, I'm man enough to admit it, a lot of it was done for views. I would freak out and rage about Cena on camera. A lot of that was meant for views, you know what I mean? But still, it was pretty fucking hard to become a Cena fan. It was fucked up there back then. But I realize now that a lot of that was the company's fault.
you understand? The company shoved them down our throats. It's not Cena who made those decisions there. The company made him beat all of our favorite wrestlers. The company made him win all the time. The company made him bury wrestlers. Oh, Edge said Cena should have lost this match. You know, there's no evidence that Cena is the booker of the company, because he's not. There's no evidence that he has Hogan-style creative control, where he can refuse to lose and bury people. Because he doesn't have that control. Cena, he's told to win. That's what he does. It's, it's a fact. Cena is not responsible for burying guys and beating all our favorites. That's the company's fault. Straight up. Him being a, a G-rated goofball character. Pandering to the kids. Acting like an army guy. That's the character that WWE made him portray. It's not his fault. You understand? A lot of that shit is the company's fault. It is what it is there. And other kind of arguments about Cena. The man isn't perfect. I'm not going to come here and, and tell you he's a better wrestler than Shawn Michaels. I don't want to do that. But when it comes to the five moves of doom, that argument fell apart a long time ago. For a while, it was like that. The matches were very simple. But at that time, WWE was watering the fucking matches down. Every wrestler was stuck with shit matches like this. You know what I mean? The five moves of doom, just look at Cena against AJ Styles. Cena against Punk. Cena against Bryan. Cena's had lots of great matches. And he did a plethora of moves in the matches. So the five moves of doom, it, 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 it doesn't fucking, it doesn't work today anyway there. Oh, Super Cena, he gets beat up and then he wins. Again, the company chooses who wins or loses. And in reality, that's called making a comeback in the match. Half of the faces do this. You got good guys who are there <clears throat> just to get beat. They get beat, they don't do a comeback, and they lose the match. But Hogan, fucking all these big names get beat up by the heel. They do a big comeback and then they win the match. That's Wrestling 101. That's not just a, a Cena thing. That's a wrestling thing in general. Even Sami Zayn. His back hurts in every match. His leg hurts in every match. Does a comeback and wins. Sometimes he'll lose, but they're going to do comebacks. It's just a part of wrestling. So lots of arguments from the past that even I made. I created a lot of arguments about Cena that gets regurgitated over and over and over by a bunch of posers on here there. A lot of that shit is actually the company's fault, you know? And a lot of the stuff about Cena doesn't work anymore, you know? And the company... They took him out of the main event to try to please the fans. And Cena did a great job in the mid-card with the U.S. title. Suddenly, the U.S. title was the most exciting belt on the show. Why? Because of Cena. Because he's good. That's why people actually gave a shit about the U.S. belt. Because Cena is a star, that's why people cared about the friggin' title. Okay, they made him lose a whole bunch of matches. They made him put over a bunch of guys, including AJ Styles. AJ Styles beating Cena, that helped propel Cena. Or, or AJ, it helped to take Daniel Bryan to the next level. It helped CM Punk. 
to say that Cena never put anybody over is complete fucking bullshit. And deep down, you all know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? In reality there, when I look at Cena and why I, I, I like Cena now, here's a couple reasons why. Not the best wrestler of all time, he'll admit that himself. But he's still a good enough wrestler for a heavyweight. And he's been a part of a shit ton of great matches that I enjoyed personally. So, I enjoy him in the ring, personally. If y'all don't, Bruce Blitz, you know, he was in the Indies. Bruce told you that every match of Cena sucks. Well, that's your opinion. I myself enjoyed a lot of his matches. I enjoy Cena on the mic. Cena is a good talker. It is what it is. He's full of charisma, packed with charisma. You look at fucking Cesaro compared to Cena, it's, it doesn't compare there. Okay? Top merch seller in wrestling, straight up, and that counts for something there. Oh, well. Just because he sells merch, that doesn't mean he's good in wrestling. Nobody said that selling merch makes you a better in-ring wrestler. Nobody ever said that there, but, uh, you know, it does count for something. The reason he sells a shit ton of merch is because he's a star. And that's another big thing about Cena star power. Look at all these new guys. Nobody compares to Cena. When it comes to star power, Undertaker versus John Cena at WrestleMania, people get excited. People wouldn't get excited if it was Undertaker against Cesaro. You know what I mean? Big difference there. It is what it is. I like John Cena nowadays. I'm not going to use this to troll people. I'm not going to try to make myself look like the number one Cena fan because I'm not. Far from it. But I do like the guy. You know what I'm saying, so. It is what it is. I've become a fan of Cena over the years. You know what I mean? Maybe it's, you know, a big part of it was the way people were acting too. I stopped hating. Not, I never hated him. But I stopped disliking him about three years ago, maybe. Because people were wishing death on him. They wanted him to get injured. I was like, fuck. I don't know if I want to look like I'm a part of this Cena hate crowd. If that's the kind of bullshit that they're doing there. Wishing death on him. Shit like this. That's why I separated myself from those kinds of people, you know what I mean? Because I don't wish death on him, I don't want him to get injured, that's just straight up fucking retarded there. And the way people act, oh, if you hate Cena or if you like Cena, you're my enemy, that's, that's dumb. It's weird dummy bullshit that there, you know what I'm saying? And the Bruce Blitz people too, that kind of, you know, I saw all these guys there. Oh, fuck boy Cena, man. Fuck boy Buckethead Cena. And then other guys, yeah, you're cool, man. Fuck boy Cena. I'm like, are these people fucking retarded or what? <laughs> you know? So that's when I fucking got out of the Cena hate crowd. But after a couple years there of seeing it from a different perspective, seeing that Cena actually does put on good matches, he does cut good promos. <clears throat> I can't tell people that he sucks now because that would be a lie on my part. And I do like the guy. <laughs> if people lose respect for me because of that, that's their fucking problem. I don't give a shit about that anymore. New direction, motherfucker. Real honesty. I like a show. I like it. I don't like a show. I'll tell you that I don't like it. Same thing goes for the wrestlers. You know what I mean? It is what it is. If people want me to hate everything just to satisfy their weird 
hate cravings, well, go look at a different channel, because I'm done with that shit. It's wrestling Jesus' true motherfucking feelings era. Wrestling Jesus spitting real truth era, not just wrestling Jesus pandering to different haters or whatever the fuck. So it is what it is. I like Cena now. If you hate my guts or whatever for that, I suggest seeking medical help there, but whatever. Until next time, peace.